What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode here on the Veteran Influencers Network. Once again, it's your boy, Chris Levine, and today we're going to have a special type episode. It's going to be a little bit shorter, not as formal of an interview, but I have a special guest today, and some of you may recognize him. Leroy Brown, say what's up to the people. What's up? What's up? Glad to be here. <laughs> Hey, absolutely. For, so for those of you guys that don't recognize him, he was the very first interview that I did here on the channel, official interview that I did here on the channel. And he actually flew out to California from the east side of the country to come see your boy, you know. And uh, I'm very blessed to have him over. And it's someone that I serve with. If, if you guys haven't seen the story, make sure you guys uh, go back and see. I'll put a link in the description to our first interview. Kind of talks about how we met and, uh, you know, our interactions together. But I'm very blessed to have him over. And, and the fact that he flew across the country as one of the reasons to come see me, I, I'm highly blessed and I truly appreciate you, man. Thank you, bro. I'm glad, I'm glad to be here in California. I'm on this side. Yeah. <laughs> but it's been, it's been a long time. Absolutely, man. When was that interview? That interview was at least two years ago. Yeah, it was 2020. I forget which month, but uh, definitely, definitely was uh, a while ago. Seems like yesterday. Mm. You know what? It was during the whole quarantine. I, and yeah. that's originally where I started my uh, my channel during the quarantine. I wanted to do something. Absolutely, absolutely. I think it was a great. I still go back and watch it, man. Content. I'm gonna have to do that now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good about that. I've been watching it in a little while, but I love going back to my old interviews. Not only to see you know the people that I interview, but to just uh, watch myself prog progress and watch the channel progress uh, over time with graphics and just overall quality of the show. You know? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, like I said, you, um, you flew out and you've been doing a lot of promotion on your Leroy Brown. Now, I've been telling a lot of people about Leroy Brown art because I, I still to this day truly uh, believe in the quality of your brand and the quality of your art, which is absolutely amazing. And one of the references I actually made to it was um, if you watch Good Times, you know, you see, <laughs> I see the absolutely. view of your paintings. And, oh, you know, they had the good times. Yeah. Ernie Bourne, Ernie Bourne's, I love him, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, are you? And you said you were pretty familiar with him, right? Yeah, absolutely. Was he an inspiration? He, he's, one of the, he's one of the uh, the guys that I, I I ever look up to. You know, you know, God bless the dead, but uh, he's still alive. You know, what I'm saying his pictures are still around, his images are still around, and I still watch Good Times. So, um, but yeah, I I like his style of art, the expression is. Uh, style, the movement that's going on. You can look, at, look in the picture and you can just go right into the times of when he was painting and stuff. So. No, absolutely. And before we get too deep in this, hey, veteran influencer signature series here, Leroy Brown Art. Yes, sir. So if you guys are looking to uh, support some uh, entrepreneurs, veterans, uh, active duty service members, just go ahead and DM us. All of our information will be down in the description down below. Uh, su support a fellow vet, support a fellow active duty veteran. Man. We, we appreciate y'all. Hey, so let's go into it. Like I said, you know, you've been doing a lot of uh, with your art and I've noticed over the time your quality of not only your website that you got up and running now, uh, but I've seen like the different portraits that you've actually been uh, getting commissioned. So can you talk to me about uh, customer acquisition and how it's working for you as an entrepreneur? Oh, wow. Yes, man. Uh, so a lot of the times uh, people jump right into it and ask, hey, do you do custom? Do you do commissions? And uh, I send them right to my website. I, ha I have it broken down. Uh, based on uh, whatever size uh, and I email them back and forth. So they email me to my business email. Um, but commissions, I've been doing commissions for a while now. Uh, I'd rather stay in my own lane, doing my own content, uh, working on my own agenda, but definitely have to uh, appreciate that customer that wants some special work done. So like when you go to look like, how, like how do your customers come to you? Is it because you promote your website through like Google ads or is it more, do you do any footwork so, through people? So I, I'm my biggest promoter, I'm my, I'm my biggest cheerleader, biggest manager. Um, by putting the content out there, people immediately see stuff that I do. It could be something that I've done as a commission project or it's something that I've done on my own. Uh, there's always that person that wants something done in there. A family, or there's a family member, a pet. Or maybe it's something else like you know their their favorite athlete, uh, favorite musician, or some abstract piece. Uh, so based on um, based on me promoting my own work, you know, it, it all blends together because I do pay content as well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I see you on IG all the time, man. It's like something that's just so admirable about you is anytime, day or night, I see you and it's consistent. You stay on for hours. Sometimes you interact with the people. I can tell that you're very dedicated to it and you spent a lot of time 
not just doing the painting or doing the the actual masterpiece is you're touching it up and, yeah. and trying to make it to perfection. Yeah. So can you talk to me a little bit about what makes your quality of work stand out uh, as opposed to maybe some others? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I believe, uh, so So I, I, I have this vision. Uh, I have an eye for art and uh, I didn't always start this way, but uh, I see a finished piece before I even, I'm done with it. And uh, when I first started painting, I saw that I was, I wasn't rushing, but my work wasn't finished. You know, uh, it got to this point where I, I can actually look at a piece of my work and see that I need to go back and add more detail or it's not, sometimes it's not just detail. Sometimes it's just adding acrylic paint to the, the canvas. Right. Uh, but the, the, the level of, uh, so my con when I put some product, my product out there, I wanted to go out there with a stamp on it, that Leroy Brown art, uh, <laughs> that Leroy Brown art seal. So, um, there's sometimes where I let a painting sit for a week or maybe for 24 hours and I'll go back to it and I'll turn it sideways. I'll look at it from different angles. I'll stand around my studio. Maybe I'll take it outside and I'll look at it. So it's all about, I'm doing that now where I was doing different. So I'm painting with better, better canvas. I'm painting with better uh, paint. I'm painting in a, in a different stage of my life where I'm painting more, you know, right. rather than working a full time job in the military. Oh my God. <laughs> so, and I want to harp on that last point you just said. You, you, you're able to focus more on the craft and, but before you get to that part, right? Because it's a lot of people's dreams that, you know, when they retire, when they, they leave the military, they just think it's an instant transition. So can you talk to me about the transition of you going from a full-time active duty, uh, military Marine, doesn't matter what branch to where now you're pursuing your dream, but money still has to come from somewhere. Yeah. So, um, I'm thankful to have a family that supports my back in the art. Uh, when I first met my wife, I was into art. So in 2003, the first thing I've done for her was paint two monarch butterflies. So she knows me as the artist from the jump, you know, so she really supports me when I, as I age through the Marine Corps uh, between 2000 and 2008, 2006, 2008, I was painting. I wasn't painting on my skill set, but over time, I didn't let the Marine Corps deter me from doing what I wanted to do in life. So uh, up until this point in retirement, I was already ready to be a full-time artist financially and mentally. So mental, mentally mentally is the bigger piece. It's not all about financial because I was an artist throughout right. the whole year. You know, he was like, hey, you've been painting the whole time in the Marine Corps. Where, where did all this come from? <laughs> I said, you hadn't been paying attention to uh, Leroy Brown art, but I've been producing content uh, marketing and promoting was a, a thing that gra uh, gradually improved uh, because sometimes you don't know if you want to put your own content out there because like, man, we, we as artists are our greatest uh, uh, critics. Yeah. yeah. So so I might not want to put my art out there. Uh, at one time I was painting uh, contemporary uh, art where there was no faces and you, you can clearly see movement. So it was more like an urban art uh, that I, I loved, but the whole world didn't, you know, it was something that the whole world that I didn't love it, didn't, it wouldn't, wouldn't have uh, appreciated, appreciated or may have uh, gravitated to. But at, at some point, uh, I started painting uh, portraits of people's families and stuff. So, and then I grad gradually moved into painting athletes, musicians, and important, significant people that everybody knows. Uh, but I'm right. comfortable, at this point, I'm comfortable past the Marine Corps. Uh, yeah, I'm giving I'm giving as much energy to the to, to my craft as I did to the Marine Corps. Okay. Well, I mean, so and and that's a good kind of showing the transition of, you know, from when you got out. And you know, you're probably one of in the grand scheme of things, a few people that actually make it to the level of being able to to work the craft of the thing that you enjoy doing. What do you say to those that are either struggling or they haven't actually completed this transition yet? And like, like, what do you tell them about prior to them getting into this journey that, that might help them be successful? Yeah, uh, Pete, good question. Good question, Chris. Find a mentor. That's big. Find a mentor. Find someone that you want to emulate. Find, uh, it could be, it, it don't have to be that person that's alive. It could be someone that's this, this, you know, you can still get gems and nuggets from people that have lived before our time. Uh, and I've found a mentor and, and, I, and we're not doing the same thing, but we have the same concept. Yeah, my, my mentor was a, 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 a artist and a Marine as well. He retired way much earlier than I have and we're in different age brackets. 
uh, but it doesn't stop me from having that mentor that, that kind of like molds me. I don't talk to him every day or every month or maybe every year, but I still have some type of spiritual connection uh, with that person. So I think the biggest thing is really having a mentor uh, and, and keeping keeping go, keep going. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you may not think your work is the best or you may not think you're in the perfect uh, situation econ- uh, financially, right. but it doesn't mean anything. You have to start. You have to, but it's a crawl before you walk. It got to. You know, at some point we low crawl. <laughs> you know, and I've done a lot of I've done a lot of low crawling, uh, and at this point, you know, at sometimes I still low crawl because sometimes you got to see what's what's out there, you know, and then you get up and run or you know, uh, but yeah, uh, having a mentor and then just the strong will it has to start in in your chest cavity, you know. No, absolutely, and. Um... You know, that, that's definitely some of the, the process that I went through is not knowing, like I knew essentially what I wanted to do. You know, I wanted to do YouTube, I wanted to do fitness, but I didn't know how to even, not only did I not know how to do it, but I didn't know how to figure out how to do it. So, you know, I think people are kind of up and down, whether they say, hey, just get started, or they say, hey, you know, take your time to where it's, it's the right amount of quality before you get started. So are you more of a firm component of, Dude, just get started and you'll figure it out as you go or are you like just do it right the first time uh definitely not do it right the first time <laughs> because, <laughs> you ain't gonna do it <laughs> because uh you know uh something start in the basement i painted in on on the balcony of two bedroom apartments i painted in the garage i painted in the kitchen wherever wherever we go wherever i go my, my art studio goes right so, so just because I have an art studio now down uh, in the basement, it's you know it's a full art studio. I'm blessed to have that. But even when I was painting in my garage you know, in 2008, um, my I, I felt like I was you know at my my peak. You know, uh, you know we have a thing about the Marine Corps. We just don't let them peak. Don't let the boys peak. Uh, but you know, every day is a peaking experience for me because I'm I'm an artist doing what I want to do in life. Uh, but my greatest, uh, my, uh, a greatest nugget that I can pass off to someone that's uh, wanting to do what they want to do in life is to do it, not to wait on. Because sometimes you have to write that stuff down, write the vision, make it plain. You have to, you have to know what you want to do, but you cannot. It's not ever always going to be perfect to, to align a business. There's so many different tangibles and things that change. You know, even even the ec- 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 economy, even where you're at, doing your full time job, or what you want to do in life. I always had a full-time job, but I always was painting. Mm. I've always was gleaning and gleaning from people that, you know, I wanted to do it, you know, from, you know, I've never, I never met Ernie Bournes from Good Times. Right. I've never met Picasso, but I know that I read about him. So reading a book, picking up a book is huge, you know? Right. You knew there was nice with it. That's what yeah, you did. Yeah, I knew it was nice with it. And then another thing, bro, is uh, sometimes your art is different than theirs, you know? I'm, I'm not the best artist, but I'm the greatest Leroy Brown art, you know? Woo, say that one more time. I'm not, say that one greatest, more time. I'm not the greatest artist, but I'm the best Leroy Brown I can be. I'm mm. the greatest Leroy Brown ever. So, you know? Nobody else so, do it like Yeah, you. absolutely. So, you know, if you're not, if you're investing in me, I'm investing in you. We're investing in each other. Oh, that, that's amazing. And, and like I said, I, I seen your journey start uh, from before you had a website, uh, you know, before you had multiple paintings out, before you had the IG popping you know what i'm saying <laughs> that live um so and I, i've seen your path kind of like you get to where you're at i've seen uh now you've done uh festivals yeah you know, you've done some art festivals so where are you at now in that whole process as far as uh where you're getting your art to and uh where can people uh find you wow bro uh good, good question no, good question so so um networking is huge man like sometimes i i was one time i was more in the backyard uh, and I had my work in a brewery. Uh, someone contacted me on Instagram. So Instagram works. Uh, if you don't think Instagram works, Instagram works. Someone saw my work on Instagram. It was a brewery, and it was a person, a representative from that brewery, said, "Hey, we do art. Uh, Twelve artists a year, and you can uh, free on us thirty day, thirty days. You can have your art in our brewery uh, for sale. Uh, you know, all profitable gains go to you." Uh, so someone seen my art there and then uh, that person owns a restaurant in, in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And uh, basically they reached out to me. I was cutting grass in the backyard and all of a sudden I get a, a phone call and I stopped cutting grass and mid, you know, uh, you know, got a phone call and they say, hey, uh, how would you like to put some art in my restaurant? 
And I looked up and was like, God, is that you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So so networking, uh, <laughs> it all starts with, it, it, and that goes back to saying that, you know, even if you don't think you have it together, you have it to, you have it to something. Right. You know, and by me, uh, it's like a stepping stone. By me, you networking with someone, I was able to branch out even to further to a restaurant and then to a wine and sip, a, a, another art gallery. Right. right. So uh, I am, I'm in South Carolina. I'm in, I'm all over the world as far as uh, sending my, selling my art. I sell virtually. You can find me on uh, LeroyBrownArt.com. You can find me on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, but every, everywhere social media, I try to be uh, as, as uh, relevant as possible with social media and the times. No, man, that's that's absolutely. And one thing I noticed uh, that, that I've seen you do is you're not on just one platform and you do different things on other platforms. Sometimes you're more speaking to the people. Other times you're more, OK, let me focus on the art. I've seen some of your Instagram clips where you actually show the progress. Uh, I, I, I think time it's called. Lapse. Yeah, there you go. Time, time lapse yeah. shows from like, you know, you starting the painting to the end. Um, and when I see stuff like that, yeah, I see the fact that you paint something, but I see the dedication. Uh, and I actually get to see like what goes into it because a lot of people think that just because you're talented that you know you don't work hard. Oh, absolutely, yeah, you're right. I mean, it. it uh, and people say, "Oh, I can't draw a stick man," but no, I can't. It's he, <laughs> you. If it's if you can draw a stick man, you can put f flesh and bones on that stick man and make that stick man into a a person that looks like a person. So it starts with stick man. Uh, you know, art at the art the, at the most prehistoric form. It's just art. I'm at the point now where anything that I create after I sign it, I, I'm done with it. I done blessed off on it. And I, I care what it looks like, but I'm confident that I put Leroy Brown art seal on it. So mm. yeah, that's that's real huge. Uh, that's real huge. So it, even if it's a stick man, it works. So uh, real quick before we transition. Now, you know, I talked about the struggle that I dealt with a little bit, like trying to figure all these things out. Um, have you been able to reach, and I don't mean to put you on the spot, but okay. have you been able to reach out to, to other up and coming artists or those that are like seeking their entrepreneurial uh, trials? And have you ever reached out to them and like kind of been the mentor, like kind of like the one that you've had? Uh, absolutely. Uh, there are people, uh, and, and I consider that they consider me as a, a mentor. Right. Um, and sometimes you can just tell uh, they're asking questions and then I'm learning. You know, I'm learning, uh, I, I believe in uh, serving leadership. So in order to lead, I got to serve. Uh, so I put that I put that same energy back out there and tell them that you can do it. I mean, the same nuggets that I was I was given. And even the, even if I have a talent or even, you know, as God has given me a talent, then there is still work that I have to do, you know? And the work is, you know, teach one, you know, reach one, teach one. And I have many people out there. I have all ages, man, that uh, kind of like, you know, inbox me and I'm going back and forth uh, with mentoring or I, I wouldn't say as much as mentoring, but showing them the way mm. of, 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 my, of, of the way of uh, Leroy Brown. So I always hashtag and hey, this is Leroy Brown art. That's, that's <laughs> what I'm talking about, man. I cannot wait to get this out to you guys. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we took some pictures. I haven't seen him in uh, since, 2018 since. or something like that. Um, and it's just been, it's an absolute privilege to be in your presence, man. You, you got that kind of aura about you that just like puts a smile on people's face. Yeah, uh, you're such a great person, man. And you're very inspirational. And like I said, the fact that you flew out here and you know, you were able to, to come do one of my first live, look at this. So check this out, y'all. He does my first interview on the channel. Then he does my first live in-person interview here. Like that's absolutely incredible, man. This. Hey, we just make history every day. We make history every every time we see each other. We make some type of history, man. And I hope that uh, the future has something um, in store for us again to continue to make history, man. I'm glad to be here, Chris. I'm telling you, man. Like this is huge. I like your I like your whole setup. It it shows. And like our conversation before this interview, man. Uh, you are you you're there. Like sometimes someone told me that uh, you know, because I, I I was using some choice words that. Made it seem like that, I, you know, that whole I'm trying. Some people's like, hey, man, you're not trying. You're at that point. You're doing it. We always say I'm trying. Yeah. I'm trying. Someone's like, oh, how you doing? Yeah, I'm trying to put this together. But you don't know what people see. Like, right. You know, so I see the same thing you see in me. I see in you. It's like you're, you're man, bro, we probably passed there. You know, it's all about the, the constant movement. 
you know, building and building and building. But I, I like what you're doing here. Uh, uh, applause for you too. Hey, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Throw it in there for your boy. Yeah. But hey, if you guys haven't already done so, like I said, follow my boy Leroy Brown Art on Instagram, uh, on YouTube as well. And uh, is it just Instagram and YouTube that you have? So yes. Uh, and he has a Facebook page Facebook, as well, business Facebook, Facebook. Instagram, TikTok, Leroy Brown Art. Uh, you'll find me Leroy Brown, Leroy underscore Brown underscore art on uh, TikTok and Instagram, Leroy Brown art on Facebook. And my website is LeroyBrownArt.com. Okay. Yeah. And if you guys are interested in supporting, make sure you guys go on there. Look, I'm sure there's some type of painting for you. If you guys haven't already done so, make sure you follow your boy veteran underscore influencers. I'm on Instagram, uh, YouTube, TikTok. I'm sorry about my voice. Kind of messed up today. And if you're interested in one of my new designs, veteran influencer signature series, all you got to do is DM me and now uh, we'll go over from there. I appreciate each and every one of you guys, man. You guys are absolutely the reason why I continue to do this. And uh, you guys give me all the motivation to continue pushing, even when I'm not as consistent as possible. So any last thing you want to say to the people? Hey, follow the hey, veteran influence, the veteran influence. Follow them on all platforms and, and try to get that interview for you guys that are doing it out there. Thank you for having me, bro. Hey, that's what I'm talking about.